Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadongster Born, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News Room update where today we're going to be looking at a brand new construction update on Adventureland in Iowa. Now this is a part that's adding a brand new 4D free spin roller coaster for 2021 called the Dragon Slayer and or just Dragon Slayer, you don't need the the. Um, <laughs> And we've got some construction from their official Facebook page. Uh, they've uploaded a brand new construction photo and uh, it's progress on the coaster. So I'm very excited to see what exactly is going down. Uh, so before we get started, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. And uh, click the notification bell so you never miss another video. Make sure you uh, keep uh, going through all the old videos as well. We're getting closer and closer to half a million views and 2,000 subscribers So we're on the road. We're under a hundred subs away from the 2k So uh, let's try and get to 2k and half a million views by the end of the year and uh, for now guys Let's get straight on it and let's get straight into this construction update Not the biggest video in the world today, but we're going to show you the construction bit picture right now So as you can see on your screen about half the layout's been completed already. Um, you can see right there, wooden coaster in the background, hurrah, hurrah, whatever will be, will be. Um, but you can see there the uh, vertical lift hill is nearly done, about halfway done nearly with that vertical lift hill. Uh, some of the twists and turns around the end as well, uh, which is very, very nice. Um, you know, I think it's very much, it looks very much a shorter layout. I think probably because this is just, you know, half the construction and stuff like that. But I just think it looks very, very short compared to the other layouts. But I mean, I could be wrong. They might extend it a bit further, but hey, hey, we'll move on. Um, but yeah, I think from the construction there, I mean, it looks ap absolutely appetizing. I mean, we can confirm straight away uh, if we didn't confirm it already that it will be dark red track and the gray supports. And, uh, you know, this coaster very clearly with the with the selection of a 40 free spin coaster we spoke about this in previous videos it will not be taking up the entire plot of land of the dragon coaster the hopkins looper uh it will just be taking over the station area uh of the old attraction so you know it's going to be you know it's going to be a short compact thrill coaster but a different variation of seat arrangement and a very different thrill coaster for the park so there we go, that's looking at the construction of the Dragon Slayer. A lot of construction. Obviously, we saw trains uh, appear as well, which I'm going to put that picture that I saw on Reddit. I can't remember who posted it on Reddit, but massive shout out to whoever it was that you get to. If you see it, then it's yours, and I'll give you credit for it. Um, but I can't remember your name. Uh, but it was on Reddit. I'll put it on your screen now. Fandomidozi, that is the uh, picture of trains coming in. So we knew that trains were coming in this past week as well. Um, and... You know, it looks like they're finishing up the construction. Hopefully, you know, like I said, they're about halfway done uh, with the track and with the trains coming on site as well. They're, they're pretty much going to have this pro, the progress of this particular project uh, on standby because they're literally just going at it with absolute pace and they've got the trains ready. So when the track's finished and when it's safe, boom, tracks on, testing, bish, bash, bosh. Boom shake the room as Will Smith would sing. Um, but, you know, I think overall this is going to be an amazing coaster project and, um, you know, a very good project to watch. I love watching this coaster project. You know, people have complained and said, you know, it is a compact thrill coaster. It's not what we really want, would have wanted. Um, and, you know, it's not really the type of coaster. I like to look at the positives. I see the negatives, why people, in the especially in the enthusiast community, wouldn't want it. But... Um, I think the main thing to focus on here is that this is definitely a general public ride, not really an enthusiast's ride. Uh, this is definitely for the general public. This is a different seating arrangement. This is definitely a, a wing style seating arrangement, something different for the theme park. And, um, you know, I think the compact thrill element of it will give the public something uh, they've not really seen before, especially in the Iowa area. Um, so I think that we have to sort of take that into account as well. And, you know, I like the theme of it. And to be fair, I spoke in the last construction update. I said, I don't know what they're doing with the the Hopkins loops, the two loops. And um, someone actually commented on the video and said they're actually putting like a banner or a sign over those two loops to show the dragon's been slayed. Like the dragon's head's been chopped off and you've got the two loops as, as evidence of the body. And uh, the dragon slayer coaster, which is the knight next to it in victory. 
uh, riding where the dragon used to be. So maybe in the future they'll work around the Dragon Slayer and do like a new Dragon Coaster to, to battle with the Dragon Slayer. Uh, that would be a nice surprise, but uh, we'll see with that one. Maybe Dragon Slayer is a phase one for a future coaster project further down the years, which could be an extended coaster, something more outstretched. Um, so there we go. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park news update from Dragon Slayer Adventureland. Like I said, halfway done with the track about, and uh, obviously the trains on site this past week as well. So they're moving fast with this, and I can't wait to see testing begin. Hopefully in the winter months. Thank you very much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more updates. Click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. And for now, my name is Coast Shell Coop, living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.